hi guys welcome back to Nicole Knows Life I'm Nicole in this video I am just showing you how to get this look a natural spring makeup tutorial I thrive doing simple looks y'all know me if you watch my videos you know I don't do too much um so this is just a second look second little makeup tutorial I'm doing my last one was my Valentine's Day look I will link that one up there if you want to watch it it's a good look for a date night so go ahead and check it out um if you are getting ready for spring break and getting ready for the spring season and you just want something quick and easy I'm here to give you this look so stay tuned and find out how I did this Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the light and airy. Alright, so I'm just gonna start with the clean face because it's important so your makeup can look good and pop. So I recently got this No Pore Problem Primer. And I am going to use this as a base. Again, you guys know I do not use um, foundation. So I'm just gonna use this No Pore Primer just as such just the foundation for me I also have another one that I like <laughs> so this is supposed to cover your pores so we'll see all right it's my first time using it and it's very light it's feels a little oily so I guess I'll have to see what the final touches are because I usually use the Dr. Brandt primer um, so smooth, poor covering, top secret for perfect makeup. So we'll see, we'll see. Alright, so now I'm going to start with my eyes. I always start with my eyes because that's the main thing. Um, that's usually the main part of makeup, I know, but I'm going to keep it light today. So first, I am going to also use a base, a primer for my eyeshadow. This one is the a Luscious Angel Eyes Prime Shadow, and I love it. So, my daughter just stole all my brushes. So. All right, got my brush back. So, I've used this brush. I got these in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. I forgot what their name are called, but they're supposed to be, like, luxurious brushes. All right, so, let's put the primer on. So I usually just put like a small little dot. Eh. Well, working. So I usually just put like a small little dot. That was probably too much. And I kind of just look up to kind of Cut the crease. As you can see, I have a little dot because I got it on my eyelash. I mean, on my eyelash. All right, so I'm just gonna rub it in, and I'll clean this up later because I am not good at cutting the crease, y'all. I'm just not. And then I'm holding this little mirror, so that makes it worse. See, it's messy, but it's okay. I'm not a makeup guru and I don't act like I am. I keep it simple. Alright, I have a little bit. And I'm probably using the wrong brush. So I'm still learning. And that's why I do these videos. So you guys can learn with me. my daughter's still in all my makeup so all right so I am done with that so what I usually do I'm just gonna wipe this brush off and what I usually do is just take a little wipe it could be a makeup wipe or uh, for me it's baby wipes 
Baby wipes actually remove makeup really well. Because before I really got into makeup and I just needed something to move, remove my eyeshadow, I would just use her baby wipes. And let me tell y'all, don't sleep on the baby wipes. I mean, I know they're not preferable, but they definitely help. Okay, so I cleaned that up. So now it's time to apply the actual eyeshadow. Now again, this is just a natural look. And I like to look golden for this thing in summer. So I recently got this Tarte palette. It is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I got it in my BoxyCharm. I'll link BoxyCharm down there if you guys want to try. You see all these goodies. All this makeup literally came from BoxyCharm. Every single product that I've been using so far. Here's the palette. I'll just... See, it's natural. This is just a natural look. And I like the natural golden tones. So, I will be using that. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start with this color as a base. Because it's as natural as possible. And I'm just going to put it and my inside of my eye and lightly fan it. Okay, so now that that one's done, it's a little glittery. I can't see in the camera, but it's a little glittery. And then we'll go with the darker. Like I said, we're keeping with the natural. So I like this one. It's a pretty good dark one, but it's still natural. Um, it's not, it can go with anything. So we'll put that in the corner of our eye. And we'll get it deep in there under that bone. So that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow because you want to do a natural look. Just simple, two colors, nothing, you know, too much. So that's that. Alright, so now I am going to apply my eyeliner. This is the Star Look. Again, I got this one as well in my Boxy Charm box. I'm not sure which which month, but I got it. I like this eyeliner because it does last long and it's better than drugstore eyeliner. So Let's add that on. Let me use my palette again for the mirror. Now, to keep it natural, you don't have to do this, but I recently got this uh, mascara that I really, really love, and because we're doing natural, I'm not wearing fake eyelashes, I'm actually wearing my eyelashes, but just a little enhanced. Um, this is by Too Faced, Better Than Sex eye, uh, Mascara. I love it. It lasts, it makes my eyelashes look good because I don't have many eyelashes, and I don't have to apply fake lashes. Move it closer to the camera so you guys can see my eyelashes. Alright, let's do the finishing touches, which are the lips. Alright, so I got this Tristique lipstick. Um, 
it comes with a lip primer and I like it again got this for my boxy charm see all this good makeup you guys need to sign up so I'm gonna put the lip primer on this is my first time using this just to give your lips a little color you don't have to just use chapstick because like I said this is a natural look but gotta have a little pigmentation you know And this is like just a natural little pink, so it's not like dark going out lipstick. your natural look natural spring makeup easy 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 all I did was apply face or primer I don't wear um, foundation so that cut out all that contouring and stuff for me I, I'm just not at that level yet and I don't even know if I want to be um, I did prime my eyes and did the base two um, eyeshadow colors and then eyeliner mascara and lipstick that is it and if you're doing like a natural spring look i would keep it light it doesn't have to be dark colors it just has to look natural and i think like lighter colors like you know softer golds or um lipstick i was going to add some highlighter which you know i could do but i don't know i like this look without the highlighter if you do want highlighter, I suggest you get this one. So I have these gold drops, which can be added to this look. And you really literally only need a drop, if that. Because it's like, literally like liquid gold. But I would add that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. It's natural spring makeup. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this look. And I want to know what you think about these products that I used. Um, like I said, if you want to add some highlighter, go ahead and add some highlighter. You can do whatever. But this is just a natural look for all my simple girls who are simple like me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.